Hello to all my Taurus viewers and subscribers. Welcome to your November 2016 love and romance reading. Um, this reading is for those who are currently in a relationship and those who are, are um, single. We'll be looking into what the, the month of November has in store for you and your love life. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and hop into things, Taurus. I hope that all of you guys are doing really well and that you're enjoying your day today. Happy Halloween to all of you guys. And be safe out there. I'm going to be taking my children to um, the mall so that they can get some candy up there. They'll be passing out candy at the mall. I'm not for sure if, you know, in every state they do that. So in the comment section below, please let me know whether or not your local mall every year hands out candy to the kids they actually get the majority of their candy at the mall every year they pass out lots of candy what does the month of november hold okay and love and romance for my Taurus viewers and subscribers that are both in a, in a relationship. Okay. Are your cards, Taurus? All right, Taurus. Okay, so Taurus, you have some very interesting cards here. I do, um, for those who are currently in a relationship, I do have a feeling that some of you guys are going through some separation at this time. Um, I feel like there's been um, a lot of turmoil, some chaos, some drama, or some, some sort of fear. Maybe the relationship has been kind of going in the wrong direction. But Taurus, the feeling that I, I get here is that you're tired of um, working on the relationship or maybe you don't have the strength to actually um, work on the problems that you're having in your relationship. Okay, I do have a strong feeling. I'm, I'm getting some some earth energy and some fire energy here. So I do have a feeling that you Taurus individuals are in a relationship with someone that is a earth sign like yourself or a fire sign, okay? And I do, I have this feeling that you're just not up for working out your relationship. Um, it, it may be that you might be stuck in your ways or that the relationship has had so many issues, you're just ready to exit left on this relationship. I do feel that some of you guys are rushing to, um, you know, to get out of this relationship. You don't feel like working on the relationship. The, the relationship is too much work. And um, I do feel like that some of you Taurus individuals are not very balanced at this time. You're not thinking very logically. And um, you're making some hasty decisions, so you might want to put some, 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 um, some thought into what it is that you want to do before you make a decision on um, leaving this relationship, Taurus. So I'm definitely sensing some energy for the month of November. Um, you know, th this energy that you just kind of almost want to go run off and hide from this relationship you know um <clears throat> I don't want to say that I see a divorce or anything like that I just feel as though this relationship is too much for you right now it's 
it's it's very burdening and you just need some time to think about things you need some time to kind of um you know get your thoughts and your mind in the right place before you move forward in this relationship okay definitely some 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 um imbalanced energy here in your relationship Taurus okay um for those who are currently single I do see I do see some breakups okay I feel like there may be some some conflict in a previous relationship or you know I feel that maybe your partner was judging you, uh, your lifestyle, maybe your religion. Um, there may have been some disagreements on, um, <clears throat> on lifestyle and common interests, okay? I feel like there was a lack, there's a lack of acceptance in your previous relationship that has led up to some sort of breakup, Taurus. I don't see much romance in the in the beginning of November for you Taurus individuals. I do have this feeling that right now um, you just need some time to yourself. You need some time to do some healing, some inner soul searching. Okay. I do see some new beginnings for some of you Taurus individuals, but I don't have a feeling. I, I don't see um, new relationships or anything like that. I just have a feeling that this is a new beginning for you to kind of get to your priorities and alignment, Taurus. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get some clarification on the eight of pentacles reversed and the judgment card so spirit bring forth some clarification for those tourist individuals that are currently in a relationship with the eight of pentacles reversed and those who are currently single for the judgment card This is your card, Taurus. <clears throat> okay, so Taurus, definitely for those who are single, I do see that some of you Taurus individuals were in a relationship with where there was a lot of abuse, there was a lot of um, conflict and the communication was very abusive. Name calling, arguing, bickering back and forth, um, judging one another. Okay. Um, and definitely I have this feeling that you, you know that you need to take a break. You don't have the strength to be in a relationship right now. You definitely need to regroup and, and, and get your thoughts in order from this, this previous abusive relationship Taurus I do feel like some of you um, you Taurus individuals that are having this issue in your relationship I do feel that you guys have been in, uh, in a relationship for quite some time and some of you guys may even have um, a family and this is this 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 drama is happening in the home okay I do feel like there's been some sort of separation in the home due to um, some turmoil or some sort of chaos in the past. All right. So I do see some separations in the beginning of November. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and get some spiritual advice from Spirit 
from my Isis Oracle deck for you Taurus viewers and subscribers. So Spirit, give Taurus some spiritual advice that they can use in a very positive way in regards to love and romance. Okay, this card says proper burial, burial for freedom, sacrifice to Osiris, Lord of the Dead. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and grab my book to get a little bit more information. All right, sorry, Taurus, my camera cut off there for a second. So you did get the proper burial for freedom as your spiritual guidance card. And let's see here, I'm gonna go ahead and find that for you so that we can get some information on what this card means for you. All right, Taurus, so here's your card. You need to see something through and let it go so that you are free from it. You may or may not be fully aware of what this is, but your energy field is somehow hunted by the past or drained by attachments that are no longer necessary for your growth. This could be anything from a past relationship to dreams or visions that may have encouraged you in the past times, but are not relevant for where you are going now. It might also be that spirit, uh, the spirit of a lost child or loved one, someone from your past that has passed on or left your life or the ghost of expectations unmet from past hopes and dreams. There is so much beauty and fullness waiting for you right now, beloved initiate. There is no need to further hold on to the past. Do not be scared. You are supported so utterly and completely in this deep healing release now and all involved will benefit from the healing change. It is not abandoning what you have loved to give, give it full and proper burial. It is, in fact, honoring and allowing what you are releasing to return to the pure love and light of the source. It is spiritual freedom for you and what you have released, which is the destiny to which all of life will eventually return. It takes great trust, but if you allow Osiris to help you, you will realize that in letting go, rebirth and growth is really possible. You may experience grief, anger, fear, freedom, and a sense of relief or a combination of these feelings as you move to let go and allow proper burial to take place. Do not be afraid of any of these feelings for they will pass naturally when allowed to just flow. These feelings will actually fertilize new life and allow you to become more of who you are in truth. Trust that Osiris will love and protect that which is released into his care through the world of death. Death, death too becomes new life. There is nothing to fear and everything to gain. So that's your message, Taurus, and I definitely feel like it resonates with your reading. And I do see new beginnings for you, for those who are going through some tough times and some challenges um, during the, the beginning of November and currently right now. <clears throat> so with that being said, you guys be safe during this, um, this Halloween holiday. And until next time, take care.